We're all bald underneath it all. It's about finding your inner bald woman. I was 28 when I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer. After three years, three surgeries, four rounds of chemotherapy, I lost my hair and I lost both of my ovaries. What I gained was my sense of self, my sense of beauty and my wholeness. I wanted to empower women to define their beauty and wholeness on their own terms, in sickness and in health. I met a lot of women who had a harder time losing their hair than the fact that they had cancer. And I thought that was completely out of whack. And I wanted to do something about it. I started Bald is Beautiful. And I put up a website and talking about the different levels of the emotional and the physical and the spiritual journey that I was on, which ultimately became, instead of a life-threatening illness, a life-affirming experience. And I wanted to share that with other people in the hopes that they would also be able to make their own journey in that way, in a positive way, instead of feeling destroyed or devastated. I meet amazing people. I get lots of unsolicited free hugs <laughs> and head massages from total strangers. It's great. Uh, but I meet a lot of people who connect to the experience either because they went on the journey themselves or they have a loved one who's going through it. And I give them a smile and a hug and I hope that they will carry that love with them through their whole experience. My name is Sharon Blinn and I started Bald is Beautiful and I am unbroken.